Hey everybody, this is Paul Tomayo for Kotaku.com, and today I'm taking you through the first few minutes, at least, of Telling Lies, the newest game from creator Sam Barlow, <laughs> as seen there on the screen. Uh, previously, the creator of Her Story, which is a really, really cool game from a few years back that kind of takes a similar vibe. It's a very cool, interactive um, mystery thriller that um, you play as the person you're seeing on screen, looking at their laptops, and going through an, a database full of stolen footage of video calls from strangers and you're tasked with trying to piece it all together and make sense of it all and figure out exactly why their information in this case their recorded video calls are stored on this local drive so um, i'm just going to run you through basically how the game works so as you see here um, you know, you have this little database server window that you can then use, and this you have this fake UI that is also really interesting, a nice little leap from the the police computer you were using in her story. But um, yeah, so you'll see here, you even have, you can even play some solitaire if you wanted to, if you wanted to pass the time, uh, you can go ahead and do that if you wanted. Um, but you also have a couple of other options here, here are your game options. Um, you know, you can change anything from the music down to the uh, the, the sound effects and, and the ambient sound from the background. You can also um, see what's on the con on the, the the hard drive that you have that you've plugged into the into the computer. Um, mysteriously enough, too, I, I can't wait to see what the community does picking this game apart because there are a bunch of things on here that um, are very clear clearly references to something that are uh, a little above my my pay grade. I'm too dumb for that. The one thing I I will say that is a nice addition to the game is this little guy here, a simple memo. So if you double click this guy, you'll come up with this little uh, memo pad here, which you can then type some notes into if you wanted. And that's kind of nice because, you know, the, the way I usually play this game is I have one game, uh, the game on one monitor rather, and on a secondary monitor, I'll have a Google Doc open where I'm like furiously taking notes as people talk and any keywords that they say, I'll like jot down. Um, but you'll see in a second why you might not even need to do that in some cases, but um, I'm a little... I'm a little bit of a, I don't know, I'm a little over uh, kill with that kind of stuff, so I will <laughs> jot everything down because I don't want to miss anything. But in this case, our, our main character has typed in love, so if we type search, or if we hit search rather, you'll see, uh, you'll hear the sort of hard drive in the background loading, and we can click on a video. So in this case, let's try this one out. To my honey, I'll cruel love's tune, honeymoon. So what's interesting is uh, you saw how the video played exactly at that one timestamp. Um, it'll all it'll kind of isolate using the metadata for the videos where a certain character said that word in particular. So we look we searched for love. We found <laughs> in all the wrong places, and we found one in this video, and uh, it, it jumped us right to that place. If we wanted to, you can hold you click to hold down and then you can just, just go left and you can rewind uh, you can fast forward kind of a weird choice considering these are all digital files but I guess it adds a nice little sort of tape uh, feel to it all but in this case we'll fast forward to let's say moon for example right we'll pause and then what you can do if you wanted to you can highlight specific words so if you've played her story you know in the past you've had to kind of like what I do what I've been sort of conditioned to do and furiously jot everything down in a separate document or you can uh, scrub through and find something that you think is worth highlighting in this case let's say honey and then you can search right into the database and then you'll get a bunch of other new results for then for you then to go ahead and search that way too which is pretty neat it's a really really helpful uh, quality of life improvement especially over her story and then of course if you like let's say we watch that video again and we jump right back to the part where, says, where she says honey uh, you can go ahead and bookmark this video. So if later on you want to go further down a certain rabbit hole and you want to like go back and reference the thing that you bookmarked, it'll be right there for you, even with the little transcript part that you highlighted. So in this case, I think we picked Honey. So Honey's like very there prominent in the transcript. And it's useful. It's a, it's a useful thing. You can also sort by date, um, I guess even the transcript. And it's, it's really, really cool. And so, and then you also have, of course, history. So you can search for history, um, so things that you might have missed or forgotten about, you can always just go back into your history tab and check that out too. So the really cool thing, I, I will say the, uh, the last thing I'll leave you with, I guess, in terms of this, this video, because I don't want to give away too much because this game 
is very narrative driven and, and uh, you know, anything could be a spoiler. So I'm trying to really steer, steer clear of that kind of stuff. But I will say um, we do have, uh, I believe we'll, we'll have impressions on the site at this time. This video might even be in that post. But um, if not, definitely go check it out at Kotaku.com. But there is a lot of interesting things at play here. I've completed the game at least twice, two full cycles. I've seen two different individual endings and it kind of asks you to go back to it and um, just pick apart even more stuff, tease out more stuff. So just to give you an idea, I played around a little over five hours or so and I finished it in, you know, like one and a half sittings and I was able to get one ending and, it's, and at the end of the game, it'll tell you, it'll have a document that tells you who you focused on um, and how much of the footage you've actually seen. And in my case, having spent a little over five hours, the game told me I just I just watched over or just watched under just a half of the content that was on the drive. So there is a lot to come back to and, and tease apart. I still want to do that over the course of the next week or so. So expect a little more coverage as time goes on. I will definitely be talking about this a little bit more. So yeah, hope that was a quick little preview for you guys to check out uh, Telling Lies. Um, this comes out on Friday for PC, Mac, and iOS. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys around. Peace.